Hi friends, in today's video, we are gonna make a DC motor reverse forward controller using my Arduino based PLC. So without further ado, let's start this video. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB, which is one of the largest PCB manufacturing company of China. First, I've created the schematic diagram of the project. Then I created PCB layout and generated Gerber files and upload them to JLC PCB website. After that, I have selected all the required parameters such as dimension, quantity, color, and a few more options. After that, I click on save to cart. This will send our project into shopping cart. Then I click on check out securely. Then I add my shipping address and select my desired shipping and payment method. If you are not subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notified about my new videos. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I have a second channel Canny Tech, do check it out as well. Subscribe and support it. All the links are in the description. This is my Arduino PLC. It has 5 inputs, 7 outputs, 4 analog inputs and 2 PWM outputs. First I'm gonna connect 12 volt supply to the PLC. To drive the motor in reverse and forward direction, we need an H bridge driver. For that I'm gonna use 2 relay boards. This is the circuit diagram for the relay board. I'm gonna connect first relay board and connect its positive pin and normally closed terminal to positive supply, its ground pin and normally open terminal to ground and its signal pin to output one of the PLC. After that, I'm gonna connect second relay board and connect its positive pin and normally closed terminal to positive supply, its ground pin and normally open terminal to ground and its signal pin to output two of the PLC. After that, I'm gonna connect 12V DC motor and connect its negative terminal to common terminal of first relay and its positive terminal to common terminal of second relay. After that, I'm gonna connect a 3 position selector switch and connect its pin number 1 and 3 to positive supply and its pin number 2 to input 1 of the PLC and its pin number 4 to input 2 of the PLC. After that, I'm gonna connect a switch and connect its one pin to positive supply and its other pin to input 3 of the PLC. After that, I'm gonna connect an indicator and connect its one pin to positive supply and its other pin to output 4 of the PLC. After that, I'm gonna connect another indicator and connect its one pin to positive supply and its other pin to output 5 of the PLC. So we have done the connections, let's upload the program to the PLC. So this is the program we are gonna upload into the PLC. So first go to hardware and select Arduino Nano. After that click on compile. This will upload the code into the PLC. Our code is uploaded so let's test the project. 